What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of RX Bars, which ended up selling to Kellogg for $600 million. So check out that interview. P90X founder, Tony Horton, he talks about how he made money as a street mime before he's, that's how he made money for food and rent. And man, y'all, I look forward to talking about what, what your, some of the dark stories there. Um, and that's, how he made his money originally, and he then went on to sold, you know, sell hundreds of millions of dollars. Baby Einstein founder, a founder of Atari, Nolan Bushnell, talked about how he was, when he was Steve Jobs' mentor, Steve Jobs offered Nolan 33% of Apple for $50,000 and why Nolan said no at the time. And so this is about how people overcome big challenges in life and business. And um, this episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Our mission is to connect you with your best referral partners and customers. We do that through a couple done-for-you services. We do done-for-you event solution for large conferences and software companies. We have a done-for-you podcast solution, which in my belief is the best thing I've done for my business and my life. Um, help me connect to amazing people and a lead generation solution, which is not paid, which Manuel will talk more about. This is customized outreach via email um, or any Facebook or LinkedIn, customized messages, individual messages. Um, we do have a greater purpose and mission behind what we do. Um, and we have a scholarship, which is rise25.com slash mission. And it's because my grandfather, who was a Holocaust survivor, escaped from Nazi Germany. Him and his brothers were the only people to survive from his entire family. While that was happening, my co-founder's grandfather was a B-17 captain, did 35 missions over Nazi Germany during World War I. So we want to honor, or World War II, we seek to honor our grandfather's legacies with a scholarship. And so for any of the events that we put on throughout the country, we do a veteran entrepreneur scholarship where it may be an all-expense-paid trip or maybe a comp conference ticket. So if you know of someone who's a veteran or you yourself are a veteran entrepreneur, go to rise25.com slash mission. Um, I'm especially excited. Um, we have today Manuel Suarez. He's founder of AGM, uh, which stands for, I love this, Manuel, uh, stands for Attention Grabbing Media. Because I am a I geek out on direct response marketing copywriter, and so <clears throat> everyone needs attention grabbing something, right? And he has a full service social media marketing agency. He runs and has successfully founded several eight figure e commerce brands. And he went on to help his father, Frank Suarez, into a leading force in the field of alternative medicine, which he turned into seven different companies. Um, after people learned what Manuel had done naturally with his own brands, many approached him for help, and AGM quickly grew to over 50 staff. You can find out more at agmagency.com or learn some of his social media trainings at manuelsuarez.com slash mini courses where he actually has trainings and what is working today. Manuel, thanks for joining me. Awesome. I uh, love the intro, Jeremy. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure and honor to be here with you. What's working as far as attention grabbing uh, when we talk about content? Because that's ultimately delivering value to people. Right. right. My, my favorite thing to do right now is uh, get people into the Facebook Messenger platform. That has been my favorite thing for the last couple of years. Uh, I would say a year and a half we've been going heavy at it. I have generated um, over 2 million Messenger subscribers. For any of you guys that don't know what a Messenger channel is, uh, think about Messenger in the same way that you think about email. Same way, except that it has been taking steroids and has been uh, overdosed with steroids over the last two years. So instead of having 10% open rates, you are getting 90% open rates. Instead of getting 2% click-through rates, you are getting 20% click-through rates. And that's what Messenger is. So what I'm doing is that I am building audiences. Facebook is a platform that you have to be quick. All right. Don't try to do a one hour webinar on it and try to get attention on, on, on it. Don't do that. 
if you want to get um, people to register to your webinar, fine. If you want to get people to come into your messenger, yes. If you want to get people to generate uh, leads, absolutely, you can do all of that. But don't try to get them to consume long videos. YouTube, I was just looking at this morning at um, precisely, do you know who Dr. Eric Berg is, uh, Jeremy? He's a health professional, right? That, That's right. He's, yeah. he's a chiropractor. He's, uh, he's about to cross uh, 3 million YouTube subscribers, all right? When I started working with him, he had a couple hundred thousand mm -hmm. a few years ago, and he has taken off to the next level. Um, I was looking at his account uh, on YouTube and looking at the Facebook accounts, uh, both of them, to compare them. Uh, in the last 28 days, he generated 77 million uh, minutes watched mm. on YouTube, okay? Versus 2.5 minute, million minutes watched. What does that tell me? On YouTube, people are consuming content. They sit down and they watch videos for hours and hours and hours. On Facebook, there is just too much content, that feed is too crowded, so you have to be really fast. Imagine that, and not only that, let me tell you one thing. We invest a lot more money for Dr. Berg on Facebook advertising than on YouTube advertising. Why? Because Facebook is a great platform to re-engage people that are engaging on email, uh, YouTube, Messenger, all over the place and get them to convert, but it's not the best platform to get them to consume content. So what you got to do is that you can actively, you, had a, you have to actively focus on getting them out of Facebook, out of Facebook. How do you get them out of Facebook? You can do many things. Uh, don't put YouTube links to your videos. Don't do that because Facebook doesn't want, want you to do that. But what you can do is that you can generate messenger subscribers. How do you set that up? There's a platform that I use, which I'm a big advocate for, called ManyChat, M-A-N-Y-C-H-A-T.com. That's basically your email marketing platform for Messenger. Uh, think about ManyChat in the same way that you think about Infusionsoft, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Constant Contact, etc. It is a platform that connects your Facebook Messenger with your um, own handling of these people. You can build sequences, menus. If you guys want to have some examples of what you can do on that, you can check out my channel. If you go to m.me forward slash the ninja marketer, it's going to send you to my messenger channel, how I edu educate on that channel, how I do mini courses, trainings, etc. If you go to m.me forward slash Grand Cardone fan, that's a channel that we built for Grand Cardone that does a lot of education and that uh, shows people how to um, do real estate, how to sell, uh, how to invest wisely. And by doing so, we can now sell to these people forever because it's all about value, 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 and then sell. So the Facebook strategy, Jeremy, is basically this. Figure out your message, how your content, your information can make somebody else better. That could be inspiration, that could be education, that could be entertainment. That could be know-how, how to do something. Do it yourselves. That could be like what you're doing, Jeremy. You're interviewing other people of value for the society. That is really valuable because somebody listens to this and they're like, wow, idea, idea, idea. So that's actually something that is a message. So you grab that message and you put it out there. And not only that, you start investing dollars in getting people to see that content. And when you do that, you start building audiences. And then those audiences, you bring them into your world by extracting them from Facebook and bringing them into Messenger, your email marketing platforms, et cetera. I'm not a big fan of email right now. I still believe in it, but, but it really does bother me, Jeremy. Every time that I log in to my Infusionsoft account and I see that my broadcast got 14% open rates, 12% open rates, because I work really hard for those people really hard to get them in. So when I can see only 14 out of 100 opening them, it bothers me. And then I go to ManyChat and I see 90% of them open up the messages and that gets me excited. So it's not about, I hate email, I like this. It's just the data. Look at the numbers, showing, yeah. It's showing me what we have in front of us, that's all. First of all, thank you. This has been fantastic. I wanna point people towards manualsuarez.com slash mini courses. 
you know, any other places we should point people towards online and who is ideal to work with you? Right. Um, Jeremy, I have a, uh, a podcast myself too. Uh, it's called the uh, Facebook Marketing Ninja Podcast. Um, it, the, if you search for Facebook marketing on uh, all the major powerful platforms that we have today, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, et cetera, you should be able to find me within the first few results. If you go to anchor.fm forward slash Facebook Ninja, uh, that's basically the link that takes you directly to the platform. Um, I have uh, I'm con I put content on social media every day on Instagram, on Instagram TV, which, by the way, we haven't talked about, but it's a hot platform right now. And uh, Instagram is pushing it really hard. Uh, on Facebook, I put content every single day. If you go to facebook.com forward slash the ninja marketer, that's my Facebook page. Uh, my YouTube channel is, is still there. I post videos there every day. Um, you can search for Manuel Suarez and you will see me on, on YouTube. And um, just stay connected because uh, that's my obsession. My obsession is to help you guys understand uh, how to take advantage of these modern platforms. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity. We're not late in the game. It's just getting started. It's basically like uh, the gold rush of California, Sacramento, 1948, right? Uh, 1848 all over again in which people are uh, trying to plant also on uh, their, their flags, uh, their territories. Uh, it's just that right now we have these uh, digital territories that we're trying to fight for. But there's a lot of opportunity, especially if you have a message that should be heard by people. If you have a message that you know is going to help somebody else make their lives better, influence their lives somehow, whether that's because you have a brand, a product, a service, a brick and mortar, or whatever, then you have an opportunity to put yourself in front of the masses, in front of the billions of people, just by understanding how these platforms work. The middleman that you need to, uh, that you needed before is no longer needed, right? The uh, PR agency, the newspaper, the magazine, uh, even the radio. You got Jeremy now, right? You, we got, we go direct to the listeners now, to the actual, we go direct to the host, we go direct to the radio stations, and we consume the content at our own will. It's on-demand content. That's what's happening today. Mm. So things have changed, and we all need to change with them. Uh, about 15 years ago, uh, Mark Zuckerberg was on a dorm room figuring out how to change, uh, how to create this platform just to change the college, not even the world. Right now, they has, this thing has changed the whole world. And um, look at their earnings, man. Last week, they reported their earnings. They are taking over the world. No matter what, turn off, delete Facebook campaign. Let me tell you something. That campaign did not work. Whatever happened did not work. It, it's funny, right? Because uh, you see uh, people complaining that Facebook didn't work for them. And at the same time, you see people complaining that uh, Donald Trump won the elections because of social media. So it's very contradictory, right? Like, uh, why would you say that Facebook didn't work uh, for your business, but then it worked to um, select a winner to uh, lead our democracy in the United States? It doesn't make any sense, right? It's all about you figuring out how it works and what you do in it. And despite any failures that you have, picking yourself up and just redo it again and go over again until you find something successful and maybe hey you can find yourself in a similar spot as i am right now which uh i can tell you that i've been very successful over the last few years and i wasn't in 2013 2012 i was not yet in 2010 i looked at my wife before we uh finalized our bankruptcy and i said baby um i don't have enough money to buy diapers for a kid i'm gonna try to find a solution don't worry I'll figure this out. At that point, I had nothing. My dad had nothing at that point. We were still basically trying to figure out how to rebuild ourselves. So to come from that point to where I'm at today without an inheritance, without winning the lotto or nothing, trust me, no matter where you are at, you can always get yourself to the next level, Jeremy. And that's the truth. Amen. Thanks, Manuel. I appreciate it. I want to be the first one to thank you. Check out manualsuarez.com slash mini courses. Fantastic. All right, thank you very much. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.